946 on this Saturday morning, and that means it's time to imagine it with the chief scientist from the Imagination Station, Carl Nelson, or as Scooby-Doo would call him, Raul Relson. I don't know. I'm just saying that because it is a spooky science time down at the Imagination it is. Station. Starting in October, yeah. the whole month, spooky science. So we got some dry ice here today. You're going to need a glove and some glasses. Okay, just one glove. we got to share a pair. We're going to share a pair. That's All right. right. I'll take the glasses too. All Thank right. you. So dry ice, you know, it's Halloween time. You start to see it showing up all over the place. It is very, very cold. Sure. 190, don't do that. I won't do that. 190 <laughs> degrees below zero. You would get frostbite. Oh. So the cool thing about dry ice, though, a couple things. One, why don't you go ahead and take these tongs and okay. pick up a little hunk from down over here. Okay, just a little? Just, yeah, get a yeah. little one. Okay. Okay. And, ooh, Yikes. You hear, that, you hear that cool sound? Okay, so yeah, drop it right in here. This one? Yeah. And so dry ice is always sublimating. It's changing from a solid directly to a gas mm -hmm. as it warms up. And you can see that if you drop, drop somewhere in there. Let's, right, let's yeah. get this going here. Wow. And you notice every time you touch it with those tongs, you get that sort of screaming sound. Right. It's because you are, the tongs are so much warmer than the dry ice, it's causing a lot of gas to expand, wow. and it's causing the tongs to vibrate. In fact, if you take something like a, a silver dollar and stick okay. it on the dry ice, okay. <laughs> you can actually hear a lot of that gas rushing out. I think, yeah, you hurt Kennedy there. That was like a banshee screaming. <laughs> I think it's Eisenhower, actually. Oh, but, okay. Okay. But the other I'll neat thing. 50 cent piece. <laughs> All right. It's the shivering quarter. It's the oh, shivering dollar. Oh, wow. Look at that. As the coin warms up the dry ice, some gas comes out and causes the coin to vibrate back and forth. Gotcha. It's a kind of a fun uh, thing you can do. Now, eventually, the coin is going to cool down to the 109 degrees below zero that the dry ice is, and it's going to stop shaking. Wow. Or we could just take them right out. Sure, and, yeah. You know, with that. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so, you know, when you're working with dry ice during Halloween time, you want to be careful that you you do wear the safety glasses and you have the gloves on. And if you are gonna do something with dry ice, creating this nice fog effect, that's what everybody wants, right? right yeah. Um, make sure that you use a tall container, something like this. Okay. That way it's really hard for kids to reach down and get into where the dry ice is, or even yeah, adults yeah. for that matter. Right, because if now, you touch the water, it's not gonna hurt you. Yeah, no, it's not gonna hurt you if you touch the water. In fact, this will cool down over time, but it's never gonna get as cold as the dry ice. Okay. Now, another cool thing, like, grab some more dry ice and drop it in this guy. You know, this is, hunk? yeah, grab a couple, just okay. I toss that one, and let's just see what happens. <laughs> so this is soapy water. Okay. Okay. Hold off on the dry ice. <laughs> oh, now. Sorry. Now what's, now what's cool about this? It's okay. It's okay. It's, it's all about experimenting. Is that these little bubbles now, Tony? If you can scoop up some of those in your hand, uh, which use, hand doesn't use matter? Use the glove. Doesn't okay, matter. Okay. All right. And if you pop okay. them, you can sort of see that fog effect coming okay. out. So. Um, with the right amount of dry ice and the right soapy solution, you can make some big bubbles that will pop and they'll release that sort of fog. Oh, it's wow. really close on the yeah, top there. Yeah. And it makes a heck of a mess as well. But uh, So you might want to use a tray if you're doing <laughs> that sort of experiment. Sure. Now, <laughs> one, one last thing with the dry ice that is kind of cool is that if you notice all the... Uh, it's extremely cool. <laughs> it's very, very cool. <laughs> all the fog is falling down, True. right? It's falling down because the carbon dioxide gas coming off is heavier than air. Okay, so the bubbles inside are lighter, less dense than the water, but the gas coming out is heavier than the air, so the fog falls down. Gotcha. So we've got a little fog maker right here. All right. And what I want you to do is direct that into my glass of burning candles here. <laughs> Just direct the gas in. And since that carbon dioxide gas is heavier than air, it should sink down, start to displace the oxygen, and eventually our candles... Go ahead. A little bit lower there. Yeah. Eventually, those candles should go out as the carbon dioxide gas builds up. It's a basic idea of how a fire extinguisher would work. Okay. Displace the oxygen, and you can put out the flames. This may take some time. No, Tony, I don't know what you're doing here. This is not. <laughs> I understand theoretically what theoretically, you're saying. Theoretically, this would actually. We could actually juice it up with a little bit more dry ice as well and see okay. if we can generate more gas. But these are the kinds of things that we're doing down at the Science Center for Spooky Science. Sure, and uh, as you said, it's all about experimentation. It's all about experimenting and trying things. Here, if we get a little bit more gas. All right. And boom, they go out. Ta-da. All right, carbon dioxide gas displacing the oxygen. Thanks, dry ice. In fact, I can't even relight them because my flame will go wow. out. Wow, now that is spooky. All right, right the cool. Imagination Station, you can see the hours on your screen. Spooky Science starts October 1st, that's Tuesday. Thanks again, Carl, for coming yeah. down. We're gonna turn it over now to Dave with sports.